Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. Today we are going to discuss one question from seating arrangement that to uncertain number of places. Many students have been asking for this type of question. Sir, please explain this type of questions. How to go for it? See students, before starting this question, the seating arrangement and of course puzzle test also, these two chapters are very very important in the light of uh, many bank examinations. Even in prelims as well as mains, they ask questions from seating arrangement and puzzle and for that matter, these two chapters play a vital role in that examination. 80% of the questions are from these two chapters only. We can categorize puzzle or seating arrangement questions into four students, four categories are there. Basic, moderate, advanced and the very advanced level. Obviously, basic and moderate level questions you can expect at prelims level, advanced to very advanced level questions at the mains level. I can categorize this question as a moderate level question, not basic, not advanced, we can place in between moderate and this type of questions you can expect at the prelims level nowadays. But to go for advanced and very advanced level questions, first of all you have to solve this type of questions. See students. I am uh, going to give the link of one of my seating arrangement uh, questions on YouTube uh, which I have posted in 2016 long way back. That question is a very very good question to understand the approach how to solve seating arrangement uh, questions even for that matter that is helpful for the basics of puzzle also. You please click that one and watch that video. Uh, before this video or after this one whatever it may be but you need to watch that one it's a must watch video okay now come back to this question how to solve this one what should be the approach first you need to read the basic information okay what's the basic information they have given seven persons a to g they have given are seated around a circle facing the center very very important number of persons they have given seven you have to note it down second one all are facing center. Alright, next you see, uh, facing center, then there are x number of chairs around the circle out of which some are vacant and the rest are occupied by these seven persons. Very, very important information. Around that circle, not only these seven persons, some other chairs are also there. Seven places, seven chairs are occupied by these seven according to the conditions. Apart from that, there are many other chairs also. We need to find out uh, what is the total number of chairs as well. One of the questions may be that one. And the other questions are based on the placement. Now you got the clarity. First, while reading the basic information only, you must get the clarity. Okay. Next one you say, let us start the question like this. Total 7 persons are there. Let's take the circle here. I am taking the circle. Start this one. Take the first information. We, before going for that one, the basic idea students have been telling these things in seating arrangement or puzzle. While reading one information, you have to squeeze it out in and around. You have to go in depth of that one. Whether that information can be taken directly onto the chart, you take it. Otherwise, if that information is not immediately useful for you, keep it aside. Write it down on the paper as and when, as and when you feel, uh, like you feel that that information can be brought into the chart, you have to bring it and you need to correlate that one with that of the old information to find out the hidden data. Got the clarity? Right. I am taking the first one here. F6, third to the left of A. You can directly bring that one onto the chart. So F6, third to the left of A. F's place is depending upon that of A's. Suppose if I take A here, anywhere, anywhere you want, you can take anyway, all are facing inside. F6, third to the left of A, first, second, this third place I'm giving to F in this way. Okay, F sits third to the left of A and is four chairs away from C. Very, very important. So F is four chairs away from C. F is four chairs away from C means between F and C, how many chairs should be there? Not four chairs, three chairs. Because he is four chairs away. That means between these two, three chairs are there. That may be on the right side of F or left side of F. 
Suppose it is on the left side of F, 1, 2, 3 and this place must be given to C. One of the ways or it can be on the right side also, 1, 2, 3, this place should be given to C. Here you need not like go for one more arrangement as far as possible try to finish up the question in one arrangement only. If it is so inevitable you need to go for the second arrangement parallel arrangement generally second arrangement is needed for advanced and very advanced level questions. Now one thing is clear that C can be here or here but the next data you see very clearly they have given a is not the immediate neighbor of c when a is not the immediate neighbor of c there is no question i need not keep a c here obviously c's place is confirmed here as simple as this one okay right go for the next information here this is over then the number of seats between A and B, while reading only analyze that one, okay. The number of seats between A and B, when counted from the left of B, is equal to the number of seats between B and E, when counted from left of E. How fantastic information here. They are talking about, whom they are talking about, A, B and E. The condition is that uh, number of seats between A and B is like that. When counted from the left of B, suppose B is here, right? Left of B, I am writing here, otherwise we will write here. We will write here. Number of seat, seats uh, between, I uh, will write here. Between, suppose this is B, this is A. Between A and B, when counted from the left side of B, equal to number of seats between E and B when counted from the left side of E. That means this is E, number of persons here, this is B. Overall meaning of this one is, suppose here 10 persons are there, even here also 10 persons. Now we got the clarity, very very important information. Number of persons between A and B and between B and E is the same. That too, E is on the right side of B, A is on the left side of B. The conclusion is that B is exactly in the middle of A and E. Clear for all of you? Right. But I cannot bring this data onto the chart right now. Because even though A's place is confirmed, I cannot keep B somewhere near to A because I don't know the number of persons. That is so with the relationship with B and E also. We need to wait for the other data. Okay, right. Go for the next information quickly. This is over. Next, there is one chair between E and C. Now you see students, already C's place is confirmed. Now they are saying there is one place, one chair between C and E. Whether it is on the right side of C or left side of C, they have not given. So you have to take two possibilities now but don't take the separate diagram for that one two possibilities i told you in the previous classes also now two possibilities means you take in this way number of chairs between c and uh, e is one that means c one place it can be e one of the places listen carefully it can be e or c one place uh, it can be e Two possible places are there. Instead of taking the second diagram, I am writing inside and outside. That means there are two equal possibilities for E. I cannot do anything here. Next one you see, this is over. Then G is a fourth to the right of B. Who is seated second to the right of D? Now the relationship among G, B and D. But observe carefully students, one more time you read it, G is fourth to the right of B. G and B's relation, who is seated second to the right of D. But I cannot bring that information onto the chart because BDG information is given. But there is no clue at all. Keep this information aside. I am keeping this information aside for further use. Alright, the next, go for the next information. D and F are seated at a gap of 3 seats. Now you see, D and F are seated at a gap of 3 seats. That means between D and F, there should be 3 seats. 
whether it is on the right side of f or left side of f i don't know let us examine this one now this is f 1 2 3 left side of f after this 3 it should be it should be who is that one what is the person d ah, it must be d but that place is already occupied by c now only possibility left out uh, f is here on the right side of f 1 2 3 places after that one this place must be given to d now this place is confirmed when this place is confirmed can we use this information see here this presence is there how to use that one g is fourth to the right of b who is means b is seated second to the right of d now you see this place is depending upon that of d's and this place is already confirmed now very clearly to the right side of d first how many places they have given uh, b seated second to the right of d first second this place is confirmed for b this is the way to solve the question seating arrangement okay this place is confirmed now students always remember i have been telling you the same thing once some, once some information is accumulated here what you need to do just try to just try to correlate the old information with that of the new one how to correlate this one now you see a's place is confirmed b's place is confirmed very clearly they have given between a and b how many persons are there same number of persons must be there between b and d now between a and b how many persons are there two persons are there this is the way to unravel a puzzle that means between b and e also two persons must be there now i am coming for the logic here all right between b and e two persons are there there are two equally possible places for e which one shall i take now here you need to go by the elimination process what is the elimination process let us think in this way now this is the place for e e's place is not this one right you have to think in this way here what we are doing instead of drawing one more circle we are doing here itself now what i am doing here i am imagining that e is here now what is the relationship between b and e between b and e there should be two places so very clearly two places means if e is confirmed here listen carefully one two places after that it should be b simple that means it's not a new place for b the same place i'm ima imagining here after this one one place then d a the circle will be continuing like this got the clarity if e is here b should be here it is not confirmed i'm imagining that one now take the relationship between b and g what is the relationship here this information that's the reason why i have underlined this one now i'm taking this one g is fourth to the right of b to the right of b b is facing inside this is right side that is left side g should be fourth to the right of b first second third fourth it must be given to g this is all imagination only up to this extent yes it can be in this way all right now east place is not this east place is this one after that you see students very clearly d and f are seated at a gap already i have taken this one ah this information you see g is not the neighbor of f that means if i keep g here g will become one of the neighbors of f but that is restricted in the question g and f should not be neighbors to each other so i cannot keep g here when you cannot keep g here where the story has begun you just go by the chronological order when g's place is not this b's place is not this why and how i have kept b here based on e's place that means the story began with the e's place so when e is here b should be here b is here g should be here but f and g should not be neighbors to each other that means this place is not conformed for e this is wrong place i am taking when e is not there b cannot be here and of course g is also not here now which place is conformed here for e this is the conformed place for e this is elimination process how i eliminated you see two places are there we have to eliminate in a systematic way now again go to the relationship between e and b 
Now these place is confirmed. This place is confirmed. How many places should be there between B and D? Obviously 2. Now confidently you can keep like this 1 and 2. That's it. This is the relationship among uh, between B and uh, E. Now you see B's place and G's place. Compare that one. G is 4th to the right of B. G's place is confirmed. G should be 4th to the right of B. Right side this one. Left side this one. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. This place is confirmed to G. Alright. Uh, next they have given G is 4th to the right of B. Who is seated second to the right of D I have taken. D uh, and F are seated gap that I have taken. G is not the neighbor of F. Yes, G is here, not the neighbor of F. Even that is also confirmed. Then G and E are immediate neighbors. Of course, by default, G and E are immediate neighbors. How simply we have solved the question, students. Of course, this last information is not uh, required. While solving seating arrangement questions, you have to do in this way. What I suggest you, before going for the uncertain number of persons or uncertain number of places, uh, first of all, you need to learn the basics of seating arrangement. Uh, in my foundation course, of course, I have given the basics right from the very, very basic level, from the scratch level. If you go with that systematic way, any question and every question you can solve very, very easily. After two, three classes, what I do, I'll take the advanced and very advanced level questions from the mains examination. You can solve it very, very easily. Now, the questions, they may fabricate many questions on this one. For example, if, the, uh, if one of the questions is like this, what is the total number of places? Count that one, how many places are there? Take it, I'm, I'm counting from A, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, x is equal to 15. x number of places are there. If they ask the question how many places are there, that is 15. And they may ask any question based on this arrangement. This is how exactly we have to go for the seating arrangement problems. Thank you very much students. I will meet you in the next session with some other questions. Thank you so much.